Originally from British Columbia, Robin has been involved in university advising at IB schools around the world for the last 18 years, joining BCS in 2018. Robin completed his Bachelor of Education at the University of Manitoba, majoring in History and English, and received his Master of Education in Leadership, Management and Change from Monash University. In his free time, Robin loves to travel and meet people from other cultures with his wife Linda and their two children, both of whom are currently on their own university journeys. I guess I just randomly pick a cool question. That, that feels like a good question. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Hmm, interesting. I worshipped my oldest brother. He was like just everything. And if he said it was good, it was good. If he said it was bad, it was bad. He said he wanted to be an astronaut. So I wanted to be an astronaut. And I still remember, it's one of my earliest memories. I didn't know what an astronaut was. Didn't know what it was, but I knew that's what I wanted to be. Um, as I get a bit older, obviously that sort of expanded. I decided I wanted to be a chef, so I started working in a French seafood restaurant in British Columbia. And then decided, no, not that. So I went into the military, decided, no, nope, not that. And so then went back to university and became a teacher. And I'm very happy with my choice as a university advisor. You attended the University of Manitoba and Monash University. What made you choose these universities? Well, um, as I mentioned earlier, I was in the military. I got out of the military and all I knew is I wanted to go to university. wasn't quite sure what. Uh, we were posted in Germany with the military, um, transferred back to Winnipeg. And so it was the closest university and I applied. They foolishly said yes. So I went to the University of Manitoba, started out in a Bachelor of Arts, tried that and then there was a presentation on becoming a teacher and I thought I've always wanted to help people I always like I became a chef because the idea of feeding people in the military it's a long history in my family going back like forever uh, and helping support the country and so teaching seemed like a good fit have you ever met someone famous yes I have I shook hands with the Queen the <clears throat> Queen was doing a tour of Canada and went to a small city called Dawson Creek. So my parents drove me down there and there was this huge crowd and the plane landed and she came out and I was like barely 10. So I just sort of weaved my way through the crowd and got to the front. I didn't know you're not supposed to shake the Queen's hand, you know, but Northern BC farm boys don't know these things. So we shook hands and she was super lovely and very, very pleasant. And and then off she went. She had a bunch of flowers. Still remember it. It was pretty cool. Number two. Dun, 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 dun. How do you help disco students discover which career path is right for them? Well, I, I think it's an ongoing discussion. You, you, you start off with vague ideas and that's okay. And I think the whole process is focused on them and figuring out what are they, your interests, what are your skills, and also just as importantly, figuring out what you don't want to do. You know, it, it's sort of a, I always use the analogy, it's like panning for gold. You know, when I pan for gold, I take a, a metal tray, I stick it in, I get dirt and rock and all that, and it's figuring out what I don't want, getting down to what I do want. And a good question I always ask students, and I, it's hard, but it is, why that? Why do you want to do this? You know, I want to do business, well, why? Well, because I think it's important. Why is it important? And you keep digging down until you get to the real core of what's important to you. I always tell students, your feet vote to do something. They vote to go and play basketball, which means that you're not playing golf. You vote to get involved in this club, but not that club. Well, why that one and not the other one? What is it that, you know, inspires you or gets you going on that? And that includes classes. You chose to be in physics, but not in history or you chose to be in history but not psychology well why that one what attracted you so it's a matter of distilling for that student what interests you what originally got you interested in your current field of work i grew up in a logging town in northern bc and i wanted out of the town okay, i'm the only one in my family at the time that had a university degree and only one niece has a university degree in my family so it's not part of our repertoire and so education in general is just so important as a tool to move forward and expose yourself to new ideas and new ways of doing things. So for me, helping students figure out their careers in university just 
dovetails nicely into my birth personal ethos of what the universe and what we're doing here. Here we go. He opens it with some trepidation. All right, what is the biggest piece of advice you give students when they're starting their journey to, of applying to colleges and universities? I think the biggest piece of advice I would give is go for best fit, right? You know, universities have personalities, just like BCS has a personality. The other schools have a personality. Figure out who you are. You're, and we talk about social and academic criteria. Do you want to be in a big city or a small town? Do you want to be in a, um, a school that you know focuses on exams? Are you more group projects? So figuring out what it is you want socially and academically and crystallizing that because then you can ask detailed questions of the university. So do you have competitive horse jumping? Do you have you know, a engineering department and is that engineering department have a work co-op? So you can ask detailed questions instead of general, what's it like there? I always tell students, remember, you're interviewing the university as much as they're interviewing you. You're deciding, am I gonna hire this university for four years? And you wanna make sure that you are going to enjoy in the class, outside the class, in the uh, activities and it's going to provide you with a toolkit that you can go to an employer and say, hire me because. So if you, you find that good fit, you're going to have a great four years. So with university, you, you want to get in. So there's getting in, but you also want to get out with that great degree that's going to launch you, you know, based on what's best for you. Because I'm not going. Your parents aren't going. Your cat might go. How do I define success? I think each person has to choose that themselves, you know, but I think my definition would be when you, you get about 800,000 hours to live and did you spend those hours well? And that's a personal definition. For me, it's my family. It's traveling and exposing myself to new ideas, expose myself to things that challenge me and, you know, puzzle me and annoy me and make me angry. and but make you change and react to what's happening in front of you. If you could go back to your teen years and give your past self some advice, what would it be? I think like a lot of teens, you're unsure of yourself. I'd say be courageous. You know, I always tell the students, they can't take your birthday away. So, you know, ask her out, you know, uh, take that class, you know, get involved in that, try this, you know. It took me a long time to sort of get to that point. And, I wish I could go back and say, it's going to be okay. You know, you're going to have ups, you're going to have downs, you're going to have times where it seems like it's a complete train wreck. I always tell the students, look, three years ago, you had a really bad day. Tell me about it. And they can't. And so I go back and say, chill, dude. You can got this. Take a chance. I think I'm good. Say if you need. All right, are you ready to go? And one, and one, and one, two, three, go. What year was BCS founded? 1836. Who founded BCS? Uh, Dr. Doolittle. The co-founder of Trivial Pursuit was a BCS alumni, true or false? True. There are tunnels built under schoolhouse. True. true. What are the past five heads of school? Uh, okay, there is Mr. LaFrance now, Mr. William Mitchell, uh, Tyler Lewis. After that, I haven't got Scooby-Doo for my time. What is the BCS motto? Oh, uh, good heart. Time is up. Yeah. Good learning leads to good hearts or something like that. Yep. <laughs> something like that. Something so like right, that. Right learning strengthens the character. 